Whenever we are about to fall, our brain sends a signal to our entire body. It tells our arms and hands to extend and brace for impact. Whenever we are about to worship, our spirit sends a message to our entire body. It tells our arms and hands to extend and brace for impartation. This, this is, is not, not just, just muscle, muscle memory, memory. It, it is, is divine, divine design. design. We reach for a safe space in moments of uncertainty. A body in sync is secured for every crash of glory. We, we are hands outstretched and raised up because, because we, we know what it means to extend and elevate. elevate. We, we don't, don't levitate. levitate. But a Sunday morning lifts more than spirits most days. It is the clasping of fingers that haven't yet decided if they want to become fist or prayer. Reminds us that being together is both sibling rivalry and saving grace. Even in moments when we don't agree, we still must agree, be in agreement with what the word says. They say that there is safety in numbers. So, so we, we gather around his fire, fire like happy campers. campers. We, we hold hands, hands we, we swap stories, stories we, we break bread. bread. We exchange our kumbayas for hallelujahs. We, we are, are in this, this together. together. We stand on sacred grounds of dreams deferred. We wage war in worship, rallied around his flame with arms locked together. The enemy, the enemy tries to place us in a solitary position to make it seem that we are in this fight by ourselves. Look around you. You, you are, are not, not alone. alone. There is a multitude of soldiers on this battlefield trying to find the sweet spot between holistic and holy, between being passionate and prayerful. Our voices should sound like one heartbeat, a rhythm that we have found in a shared DNA. We, we ebb and, and flow, evolve, evolve and, and grow. grow. We come to the house not just to hear his word, but to seek refuge and commune with fellow believers. Some days we may feel like fish out of water, arms flailing when surrender is the key. No, no one, one in here, here should drown when living, living water is, is all around us. See, when fear tries to creep in, our soul sends a message to our entire body. But it's, it's the, the body, body of Christ, Christ that should receive the message. message. When you take commitment, add stability, subtract unfaithfulness, multiply it with unity, it, it equals, equals one. one. No division necessary. For every soul, for every soul that waved a white flag, finally surrendering to his grace, we find a home is a sea of souls learning to swim just like we did, even when our current situation makes us feel like we are swimming upstream. Like, like salmon, salmon, we are just going home, expecting, seeking safe haven where our fruits can be multiplied by a God that extends his arms to us no matter how much we brace ourselves for impact. But, but now, now we brace, brace ourselves, ourselves for, for impartation. impartation. Touch the person next to you. We'll, we'll wait. wait. No, go on. Do it. See, this, this is your lifeline. This is how we keep from drowning. We brace our hearts to receive community outside, outside of our comfort zone, zone but still comforted. comforted. This, this is, is how our arms become, become outstretched, outstretched, juggling answered prayers, knowing, knowing that, that our souls will send a message to the entire, entire body that we are all in this together. together. And that every victory, that every victory will be won when, when we, we stand, stand together, together as, as one. one. 